morning guys. Uh, if you guys are new here, welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. My name is Emily and we got some big news to start off today's little day in the life. First of all, I'm running on very little sleep. My now 18 month old son woke up lots of times last night and is getting all four canines and just wanted to nurse a lot. And this morning, I uh, found out where you have a little tiebreaker. So let's go tell my husband and my kids. Guess what? Yeah. There's a baby in mommy's belly. <laughs> are, are we, we going to have a goal? I don't know. Go show dad. This is the test that told mommy that there's a baby in my belly. Can you go show daddy? There's a baby in the mommy's belly. Mommy. 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 Baba? Yeah, she just woke it. <laughs> Bubby, no, you're going to be a big brother. You little half, one and a half year old boy. Yay! And Aubrey? You're going to have a baby, another baby brother or a baby sister. We're going to find out in some number that'll of weeks. Be cool. That'll be cool. And if it's a boy, yeah, that'll be cool too. Going in the <laughs> yeah. You happy? Yeah. <laughs> so as usual, it's hard to tell, but Juan is excited. <laughs> and uh, now what we're going to do is we are heading out to... Home Depot or some home store to get stakes for our trees. Um, we need to redo that. We're gonna be working in the garage today. And there was one other thing. Oh, I might take down our 4th of July decorations. We actually got this half off on 4th of July. I think it works perfectly with our door. So let's any go, anyways, let's go to uh, Home Depot. So Juan and I both left our wallets at home and we had to drive like 15, 20 minutes out to Lowe's. But as we were, we left our like cart at the front and we're like, okay, I guess we have to come back because they didn't accept Apple Pay. And we thought that that was going to be our saving grace. And then we're, we're walking back and I was like, oh my gosh, I remember I bought a, there's this app that I've reviewed in the past and I'll link to it up above, but you can get like cash back on gift card purchases and that's usually how I buy my Starbucks gift cards because you get like 1% back and at Lowe's you get 2% back so we just you know got a gift card to cover the amount that we needed for this tree supply stuff and we're able to check out after a few tries um, of them like entering in the numbers and stuff and so we don't have to drive like another like 30 minutes just to go get our cards that we forgot at home so yeah, for those of you guys who don't know about Ibotta, make sure to check out that video um, where I have reviewed that app because it is helpful and you can get, I've scored a lot of like extra cash back on things that I already have to pay for anyways.
got our little babies in here. Hey, little guys. They're probably still sleeping, but they were reaching for food last night, asking their mommy for little bits of food. So if you were wondering why we are using a hose instead of like the rubber, it was like 10 bucks for a hose. Whereas for doing two, we're doing two, two trees today. If we wanted to do two trees and get the rubber stuff, it would have been $10 per tree. So Juan's thinking, well, we'll just cut a hose and use pieces of that. And then we'll just have the remaining part of the hose for like, you know, using around here or something. What do you want to say to the camera? Happy birthday. Happy birthday to whoever's watching, if it's your birthday. <laughs> mm. um, some other cool updates while we're out here. Um, my blueberry bush has grown a lot more since I checked in last. So I'll show you guys a little clip of that. And then we're also getting like blossoms on our lemon and orange tree, which is kind of cool. So um, my romaine lettuce is growing okay. I don't know um, if it could be better. One of my chickens, I, I think she's going to die, honestly. <laughs> I think she's gonna die because she's like sick or her her butt I had to watch a couple times her little comb on top is like flopped over and I don't think she's laying eggs something's wrong with her but it's not to us we're not gonna bring her in or anything you know she's still eating she'll still drink she'll go out and stuff so anyways that's just kind of sad but yeah once we finish up out here Juan said he he doesn't want me to take the uh fourth of july decorations down just yet so we're gonna leave those up uh, we do have to install like a new tool hanging rack in the garage that was sent to us um, i'm really excited because juan's tools are all over the place so it'll be nice to have them like kind of consolidated with all the batteries and maybe we'll go with the lawn today because it is kind of long in a lot of different areas and it just looks so much better when it's been mowed and edged so probably get that done in the afternoon and I'll check back in soon. Here's something else that happens often whenever we're outside. Jack always comes in here, he gets in his little car, pushes the buttons. <laughs> Jeez, bubs. He likes to pretend to drive around and then he gets out. <laughs> I don't even know if this thing works anymore, but uh, at least it's fun for him to sit in. Okay, my hypothesis was right. Our chicken died today. It's really sad. I'll spare you guys the details. So I'm really sad that I was right that our chicken was gonna die, but it is what it is. I, we told Aubrey and she was just kinda like, aw. And then I was like, you know how, you know, she was suffering. She wasn't feeling good. Like it's probably better. She's not suffering anymore. And then Aubrey kind of moved on. So I'm kind of, you know, it's kind of a, a good first death, I guess. Um, but anyways, uh, our schedule kind of got thrown for a bit cause we got a surprise visit from some family. They brought us some pizza. So we hung out with them for a while. Uh, and then I was able to take a nap cause I was feeling completely exhausted. Uh, so now, uh, while my, I was napping, Juan brought the kids outside. So he was kind of working on feng shui the garage and he is ready to install our next product. So let me tell you a little bit about this. I'd like to thank Mayfert for sponsoring this portion of today's video and sending us this power tool organizer. The pieces came nicely packaged and were pretty easy for Juan to assemble, as you will see in this next sequence of clips.
After Juan assembled the organizer, he checked for studs and electrical wires, found the perfect place, and secured the organizer to the wall. Then it was time to find a home for Juan's variety of tools. I really like how there is a place for pretty much anything. Juan's power tools hung nicely on the drill racks, and I really like how the upper and lower layers on the left and right sides provide storage for pliers, screwdrivers, hammers, and other floating tools. Too often, I would go to the garage looking for a specific tool and would often give up because I just couldn't find what I was looking for in Juan's many storage boxes. After assembling this organizer, I no longer have that problem. I can see where everything is and know exactly where to return an item when I'm done using it. What's also nice is that this cleared up a large storage container, which we can now use to organize other areas in our garage. If this product seems like something you would be interested in getting, I will put the Amazon link down below in the description box for your convenience. Again, I'd like to thank Mayfert for sponsoring this portion of today's video and providing me with this awesome organizer. So now that that is installed, I am gonna be going outside and mowing the lawn and edging and just kind of giving it a nice refreshed look. So let's go ahead and take care of that now.
So it figures that like, not only did the lawnmower battery die, but then my phone died. So sorry that I wasn't able to finish showing you guys like the satisfying completion of our side yard. I will show you guys like the final product, but I didn't even get a chance to finish like mowing the lawn. I did edge all around and now I just have to wait for the batteries to charge before I finish the side yard. And obviously it's way dark outside. So I just decided, you know what, I'm gonna come in. I put Bubby to bed and then I took a shower because I needed to get like, I was just disgusting. And you know, when I'm, whenever I'm filming videos where I'm gonna do some dirty work or whatever and like I'm already gross, I'm always like hesitant to even do that content because of how disgusting I feel and probably look. But I figure, you know, there are probably some of you guys at home who are like, you know, need in need of a shower, but you want that motivation just to get that work done. And so I figure, you know what, I'm just going to film it anyways. So I'm sorry if, you know, I'm sorry that I'm not the type of person to be all glammed out all the time. I'm really never glammed out, but you know, you know what I mean. I'm sorry that I'm not that type of person if that's what you're looking for. But if not, you know, you, you get what you get here. <laughs> so. Now that the kids are in bed and I am clean, I'm gonna get this house in order. So let's go ahead and just kind of speed tidy. I'm definitely gonna work on like the toys. They got really messy. The kitchen's not so bad. So there are just, you know, some things here and there that need to get done. And then Juan and I are going to just relax and watch a movie. And if you guys are wondering why my couch is set up more like a bed, it's because Juan wasn't feeling like super great. So, um, and you know, I don't know if he still like has germs. And now that I know that I'm pregnant, I don't really, I really don't want to be exposed to like the germs or be in close proximity. So I'm going to sleep on the couch. Um, it's actually very comfy. So don't worry about me. Uh, we have this like foam pad and it just makes it super comfy. And I just like, like being able to spread out and not worry about intruding on anyone else's space or anything like that. So that is why my couch is gonna stay like that because I think I'm gonna sleep out here one more night just to make sure everything's good. And then we're gonna call it a night. So let's go ahead and clean up this house. So as we're wrapping up this video and as I'm editing this video, I'm like realizing that I dumped a huge bit of information at the beginning of this video that I'm pregnant. I'm expecting my third child. It's going to be a tiebreaker. We're going to see if we're going to have the girls outnumbered or the boys outnumbered. And, you know, I really didn't really emphasize too much of this in the video, but I think it's probably because I'm still wrapping my head around it or I'm just exhausted from taking care of you know, Bubs, he's, you know, like I said at the beginning, waking up a lot and it's just really wearing me out. So maybe I haven't had a full, you know, I haven't had enough time to fully process what it's going to be like having a third child, but I am from a big family. I am the third born child in my family. So I am very excited that we will be a family of five. And obviously this will mean many update videos as, you know, things progress. I appreciate any prayers for a healthy pregnancy, for a healthy baby. And, you know, also for me, uh, my weight loss after giving birth to Jack was not very successful. And so I'm already starting off much heavier than uh, I'd like to be for a pregnancy. So if I could, you know, just maintain where I'm at for as long as possible, that's kind of my hope. So I, you know, I appreciate any prayers and I'm excited to share this upcoming part of our lives with you. So thank you guys for watching and supporting my channel. I'm hoping that this video kind of marks the start of me getting back to posting every Monday and Friday, I may need to take a break here and there because yeah, maybe I just needed a nap or needed sleep rather than 
posting a video and I hope you guys understand, but I do hope that this is like the beginning of me really getting back into it. So if you guys are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss anything to come and hit that like button too. I would really appreciate that and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.